Hey people of YouTube, it's your guy Nathan back again bringing you the third part of this awesome video tutorial trilogy How to model in Rhino 3D uh, Beginner's guide for donkeys So in this part, if you can see on the screen, we're going to attempt to model this wide body fender here We're not. It's not going to be exact, but we're, we're going to do something close to it And this is off of a GTR And that's what we're going to do for this uh, video tutorial and then we're gonna attempt to kinda lightly draw out uh, the basic shape of a car so let's get started under I wanna run through the surface tools that we are going to use um, they can be located under the surface tab here and the types of surfaces that we're mostly going to use we can use the loft sweep two rail revolve curve network we're gonna learn loft we're going to learn sweep and we're going to learn curve network for now. So a loft would be say if I'm if I want to draw a curve here and then if I go from the top view here I can select that copy paste and drag the second one out this way and then from those two curve profiles, I can make a surface. So it's going to go, go from this curve and end at this curve. So let's do that really fast. Loft, select two curves, bam. Okay, that is loft. Now we can do sweep. We can do sweep, which is if you have one profile of your surface, you can use a let's see you can draw a line the length of your profile and then you can use a sweep here sweep one rail it says one rail because we only have one rail we're going to select our rail and then we're going to select our profile and then right click to indicate we're done and then that's our sweep and there is something called a two rail sweep which is using two profiles. So if we go from our top view again, we copy paste that. We're gonna move this over here, but this time we're gonna change it a little bit, okay? We're going to turn on our control points for that and we're going to move this, one of these up, one of these down. And you're gonna see it's going to constrain the surface to that actual curve, end of that curve. All right, so uh, we're gonna draw our one of our rails here and then we're gonna do sweep two rails we're gonna select one rail two rails and then our cross section right click and you can see that yeah that's the surface so that's sweep two and then on the third one I'm gonna teach you curve network we're gonna use our one of our curve let's see we're gonna use one of our control point curves uh, which is this one and We'll create something brand new. No, well, not exactly brand new, but okay. So from our top top view, why is it like that? Okay. So going from our front view, we're going to use our control point curve. That's the first one we're gonna need four of them. And we're gonna turn on our control points. We're gonna make it curvy. All right, we're gonna, let's go back to our top view here. We're gonna copy and paste it. And then we're gonna connect these ends with another control point curve. Okay, so we have four lines that are connected. Two of them are curvy. We're gonna make these, we're gonna make put bends in these bad boys. And then we're going to use our uh, our network surface tool. So let me change the view of that so we could get this done. Okay. And so let's see. One more line to connect it all. Turn our control points. Let's go to our left of view so we could see it better. Change it up like that. As you can imagine, our outer edge of our surface looks like, and then we can use our network surface uh, tool. So we can either go from here, network surface, or type it in, or curve network. 
um, and then we select all of our four lines and then BAM look at that would you just look at that that's awesome so those are our surface tools now let's get started drawing our wide body fender and we're gonna start by drawing the wheel well and we're gonna offset this because there is on most cars there's like a one inch lip <coughs> around the wheel well um, we're gonna make that offset a little bit more here about one inch no biggie um, and then we're gonna we're gonna draw a line where we think the bottom of the car will be and we're gonna use this line to split these two round profiles that we just drew now then we're gonna use a polyline to connect these ends we're gonna turn on our O snap so that it snaps to the ends and now we're going to use our network surface to create this surface. Curve network, bam, 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 bam. And it's going to create a surface for us. So that's the first surface. We're just going to build off of this. Okay, so we're going to draw, we're going to use our control point curve. And we're going to draw the top edge of that fender. And we're going to take we're going to turn on control points we're going to move it we're going to shape it i think this could go up a little bit more and we're going to use a tool called rebuild so that we can add more control points to this so select our line we're going to type in control we're going to type in rebuild and from here the point count we're going to say we want six and now if we turn on control points there is six there are six control points that we can use to manipulate the curve. Okay. Just draw it up a little bit here. And we're going to use, let's see. We're going to use another control point line. We're going to go from this end and attach it perpendicular to here, to this wheel well. But first, we're going to move this back. From the top view, we're going to move that line back. We'll do this. We'll just guess it. We'll eyeball it. Okay. We don't got that much time to mess around. And then we're going to do the same with this side. Okay. But we're also going to add some curves. So from the top view, we can turn on control points. And then we can drag it out to give it a nice little curve. Okay. And then you can see we have kind of a uh, wide body fender that extrudes out from the car. We're going to draw one more line in this middle here to give it uh, a little bit more profile of the bend. Give it a little curve here. And you can see we have pretty much our network surface. Remember our network surface tool? And that's what we're going to use. Network surface, we're going to select our outer edges, and then we're going to select our middle one. Bam, look at that. If we change to our rendered view, we can see that our surface is nice and curvy. And if we wanted to get real, real fancy, we can select this inner edge and extrude it inward. Deselect both sides. Oh, look at that. All right, so that's how you model a surface in Rhino 3D. I'm going to continue drawing here, and uh, I'm going to attempt to draw a car.
All right, guys. So I'm done drawing, and uh, this is what I came up with. It's it's not the best, but I mean, it's what I could do in a, a few minutes. If you work on your skills, you can learn how to model a card, like kind of like this. So that's it for this video tutorial. Hope you guys learned a, a few things about modeling. I hope you guys take your skills to the next level, and I'll see you guys next time.